Hey, look. Just feed him well, and he'll be fine. Thank you so much for helping him. What are you doing? Get away from my daughter. I told you not to go near her. Away with you. Go on, get out of here. Hey, there's no need to talk to her like that. Hmm? And who are you exactly? It doesn't matter who I am. She helped your dog. The least you can do is thank her. I did not ask for her help. And I am not in the habit of thanking vagrants. Come, we are leaving. Uh, all right. You okay? I'm fine. You're the one from... before. Yep. Good to see you again. You want to tell me what just happened? I was born into a traveling circus. I've only been in the city since Bernard took me in. They don't like me here. They call me Vagrant. Outsider. Well, it can take time to settle in somewhere new. It's the same for everyone. I know. At least they let me live here. Thanks for sticking up for me. Bye. Wait. What is it? We... We're looking for something. That's why we're here in Savalon. We were wondering if we might ask you a question or two. Okay. Can we do it at my house? I have to feed everyone. Huh? Feed everyone? This is my house. You... you keep monsters? This is the everyone you were talking about? Yes. It's their dinner time. Come on, little ones. Din-dins. What? Here, Bernie. Ah, oh, you must be hungry. <laughs> what is it? Uh, nothing. Better not tell her I was worried we were the Dindins. So, you live with a bunch of animals and monsters, huh? I've had them all since I was in the circus. Our caravans were attacked by bandits when we came near the city. My friends here protected me. That's how I managed to survive. I was the only one. I... I'm so sorry to hear that. It's not so bad. Now I have Bernard. He lets me work at the gaming hall. And he lets me live here with my friends. The money he gives me helps me look after them all. I don't know what I'd do if he ever sent me away. And why would he do that? I don't know. That's just what he says. If I ever let him down, he'll get rid of me. That's horrible. You're not some... Thing he can just cast aside? He's allowed. He's the one who saved me. Wow. You said you were looking for something. Yes. It's a blue jewel, about this big. The crystal. You know what it is? Yes. You do? Really? Please, tell us everything you know. Any information you can give us is sure to prove useful. I... I'm sorry. I can't help you. If I do, Bernard will send me away. But you have to. You... Sorry. You need to leave. <sighs> She's not gonna tell us anything, huh? No, and I don't want to push her too far, either. She's been through enough. I suppose we'll just have to look elsewhere, then, eh? What about the people we saw talking to Orpheus in front of the gaming hall? They seem to be rather angry with Bernard. Perhaps one of them might know something useful. Hey, I was wondering if I could ask you about Bernard. Bernard? Hmm. Judging by the look on your face, this is serious. Come with me. It should be safe to talk here. What did you want to know? Well, one of my family's heirlooms, a great treasure, has been stolen, and we may have heard a rumor that it was Bernard who was responsible. Is that so? Well, it certainly sounds possible. 
You see, he may be the proprietor of the gaming hall these days, but that is not how his career began. He was once a renowned thief, and quite an accomplished one, by all accounts. Some say he even stole the building which now houses the gaming hall. It used to be the mansion of an elder by the name of Lupus. Interesting. And if the same rumors are to be believed, he keeps all his ill-gotten gains in that building over there. They say he can be seen going in and out at all hours of the day and night. Has anybody tried to get inside? Well, yes, but they died soon after. A very unfortunate accident. Or a warning to anyone else foolish enough to try the same thing. I like Bernard less and less the more I hear about him. He is dangerous. Please, be careful. There you are. Prince Custer. I have explained my position to Dromed. Bernard's behavior is a black mark on our nation's name. His wicked deeds must be exposed. I hope you will forgive me for using your presence as an opportunity to cleanse my kingdom of wrongdoers, Your Highness. In return, I will, of course, assist you in any way that I can. To that end, I hope that my joining you will smooth your passage through Savalon. Do you have any objections to my accompanying you? Of course not, Your Highness. How could we refuse the offer of a prince's aid? You honor us. The honor is all mine. Now tell me, did you learn any more of the situation? We sure did. So, listen to this. Intriguing. It seems further investigation is in order. Shall we? Anyhow, what are you doing here? Please, you have to leave. Why? And how did you know we'd be coming? You're good people. I don't want to hurt you. Please, don't go in there. Sorry, but if you came all this way just to stop us, that means there's something important in there for sure. I... I won't warn you twice. It's gonna be like that, huh? I'm sorry. I am sorry too, Anihal, but we really must see what's inside. If we don't, then it is not only Savalon that will be in danger, it is the whole world. What? I must retrieve the water crystal, Anihal.
do this. Huh. Let me see. Yes. See that? I'm amazing. Yes, it's my turn.
see them. Okay. Whoa. Source to be found at such a shallow depth. Eh? What do you mean? If there was water anywhere closer to the surface, it would have been discovered when the tunnels were excavated. Which means that the current abundance of water can only be explained by the presence of the crystal. Do you know what's above us right now, Prince Castor? Hmm. Based on the distance and direction in which we have traveled, I would guess that we were somewhere beneath Bernard's mansion. That settles it. Bernard has the crystal for sure. We must return to the surface and head there right away. Look out! This creature... It's Annie Health Pet! Annie Hal? Bernard says I have to stop you. And I will. By the power of the asterisk! Please, leave Bernard alone. You're good people. I don't want to fight you, but I will if I have to, and I won't hold back. So please, give up before I have to hurt you. Guess it's my turn. This is doing it! Come on! 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 Come
Do something about this. Thanks for bailing me.
try this. Do it. Better luck next time. He's going to send me away. He hates losers. I'm... <laughs> Hill. Annie Hell? Do you send your pets away when they don't do what you want them to? Sure, you might scold them, maybe punish them a little, even, but... Would you ever even think about abandoning them? Hi. <sighs> you have a kind heart, Annie Hell. You are a good person. The sort of person who would help a little girl's puppy, even if it meant enduring insults and abuse. Of course you want to repay Bernard for helping you. It's only natural. But as long as he has the crystal, Savalon will remain in danger. People will continue to lose their homes. You might even lose your home. And what will become of your pets then? Bernard has done something bad. Something wrong. Hi. I... I understand. But I can't be on my own again. When everyone from the circus was... I was so scared. You're not on your own, anyhow. What? You have your pets, don't you? I... suppose so. And now, you have us too. Thanks. Okay. I'll tell you where the crystal is. Are you sure? I'll give you the key to the place where it's hidden. Come to my house. Well, well. If it isn't the formidable Drummond, and to what do I owe the pleasure? Princess Gloria knows that you have the crystal. It is only a matter of time until... Please, dear fellow, fret not. All is in my capable hands. You see... I suppose... if that is the only way... Very well. Let us do as you say. Wonderful. I knew you would enjoy my little scheme. But the prince continues to help Princess Gloria. I would ask that you take pains to ensure that no harm comes to him. And of course, no one can know of the incident, not under any circumstances. 
<laughs> yes, yes, of course. I have not forgotten your debt. I owe the royal family. I remain, as ever, a loyal subject. Very good. Then, if you will excuse me. Fool. Try to sell me your pathetic worldview, would you? You forget that I do not buy, I take. And I will take it all. The entire empire. <laughs> <laughs> Your pets seem pleased to see you, anyhow. They're my friends. Yeah, I can see that. So, the crystal. There's a hidden room in Bernard's house. It's probably in there. A hidden room? Hmm. It's upstairs. At the back of the house. There's a bookcase. Behind one of the books, there's a keyhole. Thanks, anyhow. That's great. And please, you have to... Bernard may have done bad things, but... He saved me. Don't worry. We don't want to fight him either if we can avoid it. We can't promise anything, but we'll do our best. Thank you. Let us retire to the palace and discuss our next move. If we're going to sneak in, we should do it when Bernard's not there. The place will be less well guarded then. Hmm. Perhaps if I summoned him to the palace. Do you think that would work, Your Highness? Of course. I bring news, Prince Castor. The rogue minstrel's interrogation has yielded valuable information. He has confirmed that Bernard has the crystal. Excellent. This gives us the perfect reason to summon our friend here. Leave the rest to me, Princess Gloria. What would you have us do with the minstrel, honored prince? He has divulged the truth. We shall hold him for a while, then release him as promised. You're just gonna let him go? But he attacked Gloria! His cooperation was secured on condition of his release. We cannot very well renege on such a promise. <clears throat> but you can't just... This is not my homeland. My concerns are not a priority here. <sighs> we will leave the matter in your hands, Prince Castor. Thank you for your understanding. Summon Bernard to the palace. As you wish. I will deal with things here. I leave the rest to you, 